So on this channel, we talk about better systems for reflection, for learning, for growth. For me, this comes under this umbrella term of tools for thought. That's what we explore here. This video is a practical guide to journaling with AI. So basically I'm gonna show you what I've been doing as I've been experimenting around in this topic. Having more of that in my life <laughs> would frankly be pretty good. Wait, you might say, journaling is not that deep, Ian. All you do is you just sit down at the end of the day and you write your thoughts in a journal and a notepad and that's what works. It doesn't need to be better. Um, why are you thinking about this topic so much? What I'd say to this is many people have a system that works for them and I think that is awesome. Keep doing what you want to do, but I see journaling as an opportunity. I think it can be better. Let me explain. The first problem with journaling on paper is after you write things down, it's essentially impossible to go back to your old journal entries. So here's an old notebook. I have about six of these over there and essentially what I've done is I've written bullet points of what I have included in this notebook. So I have Finland Weekend, the Mr. Rogers documentary, and a past relationship. And so basically I have the time frame and I have these bullet points and this is the system that I would use to typically remember what is inside this old notebook. At the end of the day, going back and looking through this is still just not that easy. It's sort of interesting to flip to a random page and see what I've written, but it's not a systematic way that I could gain insight from my past um, experiences. The second problem with paper journaling is the habit of journaling is really hard to maintain. I say this from experience. Essentially, I've been in and out of journaling practices for the past three or four years now. And basically I find that for maybe months at a time, I'll do it every day. Maybe I'll give myself a gratitude prompt or some other prompt that makes it easier to know what to write about. But in essence, it's been very hard to keep with this practice, you know, routinely uh, year after year. So in response to all this, what I'd ask is the question, what if? What if it felt like you were just talking talking to a friend after a night out, which is really fun to do? What if it was really easy to ask a question and to see what you were thinking about something three years ago? What if it was your friend's birthday and you could easily look back at everything you thought after you've hung out with them for the past two years? Where I'm going with all this is I think that conversational reflection as opposed to written reflection could be a better alternative for a lot of people when it comes to journaling. I think it could reduce the friction of journaling, meaning that you journal more, and it will give you access to your past thoughts in a way that's never been possible before. I've been experimenting with ways we can do this practically. And now I'm gonna go through my system using ChatGPT to uh, bring it all together. This is gonna to be a walkthrough, so let me take you to the computer. All right, so the first step here is to set up the chat using ChatGPT on your desktop. And the reason why we do it here is so you don't have to type as much on your phone. Later on, you're actually gonna chat with it using your phone, but right now we're just setting things up. I'm first gonna copy and paste it in, and then I'm gonna walk through exactly what we have here. You are a friendly, supportive life coach looking to help me catalog and reflect on my life. After I start the session explicitly, you'll begin with descriptive questions to help me keep track of my events and experiences. For example, this could be how was your day today, or what were some highlights from your day, or similar. Then you will ask me interpretive follow-up questions to help me process these experiences. Keep asking me questions until I end the conversation explicitly. And after I conclude the session, you'll create a bullet summary of the most important things I described in the session. Let's begin. All right, so after you set things up, you actually use it on your phone. So I'm gonna take you over here and show you exactly what I do. So what you do is you go to ChatGPT, and then I'm gonna go to history and find the recent chat that I just made. And now basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit record so I can actually input using voice instead of text. And I'm gonna sit back and then I'm gonna reflect on my day and I'm gonna say, all right, yeah, today was a good day. I woke up um, feeling pretty good. Yesterday I had a bit of a solitary day. I was in the apartment editing mostly. Yeah, it just makes me think that I wanna reach out to some friends in my life. Maybe I should routinely go to a yoga class or I don't know, something to help me feel a bit more um, connected to people on a routine basis where I don't need to schedule these one-off plants. And basically what it's doing, it's transcribing what I just said, and then I hit enter. Okay. So it sort of summarizes what I say. When you think about reaching out to friends and former colleagues, what activities or interactions come to mind? I mean, I think I could reach out to my friend, um, you know, my friend Kartik to grab lunch later this week. In terms of yoga class, maybe doing the Tuesday class every week could be a way for me to do this. And so I think having that routine in my life could make me feel good. Could you tell me a bit more about what feeling good means to you in this context? Well, I think yoga is a really meditative and nice positive uh, thing to do. It has a really good vibe. And um, I think having more of that in my life <laughs> would frankly be pretty good. So at some point you just need to decide that you're done with reflecting and that you want to save it. And so now let me show you what this looks like. All right, I'd like to end the session. After I submit this, let's see what it says. All right, so then it gives me this nice summary. It says, before we end, I wanna remind you about reaching out to Cardiff to schedule lunch. Okay, sounds good. All right, so this is, this is great stuff. Now I'm going to select all the text and just get the bullet points because I don't really care about the other stuff. And then I'm going to copy 
And then I'm gonna go into my notes database. So for me, this is Notion, but for you, it could be Evernote or wherever you like to keep your uh, reflections. For me, what I do is I keep an ideas vault that I keep my reflections in. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna create a new note. I'm gonna call it reflection. I'm gonna tag people that I mentioned. So I just add a tag for Kartik and I mention also yoga. So I'm just gonna tag yoga. And then I'm going to paste the note. Boom, it's there, the formatting's a little weird, whatever. So that's it, now I'm gonna take you back to the desk and I'm show you exactly what this reflection database looks like. So if you look here, we're at the ideas vault on my computer, and my ideas vault is essentially the atomic unit of my whole note-taking system. Here's where I keep my business ideas, here's where I keep my reflections, here's where I keep anything that I just don't wanna forget. And on the right-hand side of this table here, you'll see all the ways that this data is connected to uh, different categories that I can later sort and filter by. So if I go to reflections, I'm gonna see all these prior reflections that I've taken with ChatGPT, and if I were to click inside, I would see the contents of the reflection. And on the right, you can see, so the people vault is basically people that I mentioned in the reflections and the knowledge vault is the topics that I talk about. So what we have here really is just the beginning. I'm super excited where we can take this, essentially when you can use AI to interface with all these prior reflections that you've taken. I think it could really unlock a new way of self-understanding, allowing you to understand your past and make the most of the day-to-day -day in the present, of course. If you're interested in this topic, make sure you subscribe and follow along so you see my future videos on the topic. And until then, I hope you have a great day. See you next time.